Go ahead and take your seats. I'm Pastor Neil. Um, I'm So if you're not familiar with this story of Moses, at the beginning of chapter 4 and at the end of chapter 3, Moses has been called by God to go do God's work. He says, hey, you're the one that's supposed to do this great thing. And I don't know if we've ever compared ourselves to Moses, right? Thinking about, well, I don't know if I've been called to do this grand thing to free people, but that's what we're here to do today, right? Now, maybe you're not leading out millions, but what if you're here to lead one person out of whatever their Egypt is, whatever their bondage is? But in 410, Moses made excuses. Now, I can tell from the way we just worshiped that this is not an excuse-making crowd today. But what about last week? Did we make any excuses? Right? What about yesterday? What about going our way here to be making excuses? Did we say, yeah, I know I'm supposed to serve, but God, I don't, I can't smile. I can't do this. I can't do that. Could you send someone else? And at the beginning of chapter four, God showed Moses his power. Right? Put your hand in your cloak and it was with it. Put it back in and it was made whole again. Right? How many of us are still making excuses? going back and forth with God, he says, I've already showed you my power. Yeah. I've already showed you. If you trust me, you don't have to be afraid. You don't have to worry. So, my friend, Jeff Palmer, would you just raise your hand, Jeff Palmer? Oh, wait, raise it. Come on, all right. So, can you guys say, what's up, Jeff, real quick? What's up, Jeff? So, Jeff, everything short of saying some naughty words to me, he says, Pastor Neil, I will never volunteer and be kids. Guess where Jeff started volunteering the last year? And here's why I say this, because Jeff told the same lie that I did. I'm not a kid's person, right? Can you guys believe I said I'm not a kid's person? Yes. But Jeff was like, I'm not a kid's person. Jeff said, you know, I don't know how to interact. I don't know. I'm not all you perfect, right? Why? Because God has shown Jeff his power. He's shown some things to he and to the family that says, hey, I've done my got you. I've done the big stuff. All I need you to do is to be obedient with this next step. Like Moses. Moses was like, I can't speak. I don't need you to speak. God made provision. He sent his brother with him. So I'm going to encourage all of us today. If you've been going back and forth and having a debate with God, stop. I know you're good because you can out-debate your kids or your significant others. When it comes to God, you're going to lose. And what I do know is that if you will be obedient, even on the other side of fear, even on the other side of doubt or discomfort, God is going to bless. And I know as volunteers, we're here for God's house. I know we're here for the volunteers. But do you know that just by you being here, you're also here for yourself? Yeah. Right? You being obedient to God's word, you, we, I'm going to reap a blessing even though I'm here to serve someone else, just like Moses did. We're still talking about a guy who did not see in himself what God saw. So if you don't think you're qualified to usher or to be first impressions, I wouldn't say sing, but that's different. You got to be qualified, right? I'm here on the platform now. For those of us who aren't qualified, we can stay out here with Pastor Lucci, right? All right, but for everyone else, even if you don't feel qualified, God says, I am the qualifier. I'll make sure that if you trust me, I've shown you your, my power. I've shown you this morning. I've shown you yesterday. I've shown you with the resources, everything I've given you, that if you trust me, I will make sure that my will is done. We ready for today? Yes. All right. So right now, let's close our eyes. Let's bow our heads and let's give thanks to our Father. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord God, for a love that you have for us that's inexplicable, Lord God. We thank you for life, health, strength, for soundness of mind. We thank you for the opportunity today to be obedient. 
Lord God, to be submissive to your will, even in fear and doubt or in pride. Lord God, we just give all of us to you knowing that you are more than enough. We thank you for the lives that are going to be changed this day, those who are on their way. We ask a very special prayer, Lord God, for those who are on the fence. Do I attend or not? Do I struggle with the traffic or getting gas or do I get the kids ready? We just ask the Holy Spirit to just move in them today and we will be the smiles, we will be the hugs, the high fives, and the handshakes that they need to get over the hurdle, Lord God. Let us be your light in a dark world. We love you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.